Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm doing a thrift haul. I have never done this on my channel, so I'm really excited to be sharing it with you guys. I've been thrifting a lot this summer, so I thought it'd be a good time to share all the pieces that I've been collecting. I've been trying not to spend a ton of money on shopping and you know, thrifting is just kind of the perfect way to do that. Um, and it's more sustainable. It's just really fun to get out there and dig through everything and come up on a unique piece. It feels like the biggest score ever when you find something special in your size. But speaking of sustainability, I'm collaborating with Anna Louise on today's video you guys know them you love them if you watch my channel I knew they'd be the perfect sponsor for today's video because their whole mission is sustainability being climate neutral and if making more eco-friendly choices are important to you Anna Luisa is a great jewelry brand um, so I'm wearing pieces from them today I have a few new ones to share with you guys Anna Luisa has become one of my favorite jewelry brands if you guys follow me and watch my videos I'm sure you know I've been working with them for a while and I wear their pieces pretty much every single day um, the low medium hoops have actually become a daily most worn piece for me. So I thought I would get my favorite pair of hoops in a different metal. Um, the ones that I wear most of the time are gold, but now I have silver so I can switch them out. I'm trying to get more silver because I just think there's times where it looks really nice with certain outfits and certain pieces. And I'm really excited to have these because these are just something I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of if they're anything like my gold hoops. I wear them all the time. You guys will probably see them on my store. You don't even realize I wear them every day. Um, so these are the low medium. They have them in gold and silver. They're fantastic. And then the Huggies aren't new, but they're also from Anna Luisa. I thought they just looked really nice paired together. It's just a little Huggy hoop. And then I'm also wearing a silver ring. This is the Celine ring. I love this kind of style. A little bit of sparkle, which I love, um, but I do need more silver rings and bracelets. I have a few earrings now and a few necklaces, um, but to complete like a full silver look, I need some bracelets and some rings so I'm really excited that I got this um, I'm wearing it on my middle finger and I think it looks gorgeous and then I do have another ring that's a bit more on the other end of the spectrum a little bit more out there um, this is a rope ring we have some sparkles weaved throughout some gold um, and I love pieces like this because you can mix and match silver and gold together because you have some of the cubic zirconia sparkles coming in with the gold so it kind of has a play on silver and gold um, that way you can mix your metals that's kind of my philosophy <laughs> I love this ring. It's just a rope ring, gorgeous, stands out, sparkly, and um, also looks great paired with pieces or on its own because it just is enough by itself. Always excited to get some new pieces from Anna Luisa. I know you guys enjoy seeing them too. My jewelry videos do really well on my channel, um, so I'm sure I'll have some updated ones coming soon. I have my own custom link below. Um, I don't get commission from it, but it just tells them that you guys are from my channel and you got the recommendation from me. Supporting brands that I work with is a way to support this channel, so thank you guys so much and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video let's go ahead and get into the thrift haul okay I hope the fan on I've never had my fan on in a video I hope it's not too distracting the spinning up there maybe it wasn't but maybe now it is I just have to call it out it's August I'm sweating my ass off like what do you want from me I have to have the fan on even if it's on a really low speed um, but so the first thing I'm actually wearing I found this little it's like almost like a little baby tee it's like the short sleeves it's a little bit cropped um, it has like that like kind of waffle knit I don't want to say thermal because it's very thin it's like one of those lightweight little shirts it's giving like grandma vibes because of the print it's giving fall transition which is hard for me to even think about um, I love fall and I love fall fashion but I'm still just so stuck on summer and summer fashion um, I it's the fall is one of my favorite seasons but I've been thinking about this recently I feel like I'm like resistant to the seasons changing lately because I mean not like our weather will change much I'll probably still be able to wear my summer clothes I'm in California if you know you know um, but I am resistant to it because I just feel like time is going by so fast. So I'm like, how are we already in fall? It's like every year that I get a little bit older, I'm like, how are we already going to be in September? Like that just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm like digging my heels, trying to stay in summer for as long as I can, just because I'm in denial. And I think that's part of it. So, um, yeah, that's just a little bit about me, but this shirt I love. And it was like, I feel like it was like seven bucks, which is not really like the price range I look for in thrift stores. I feel like when I find things that are like five bucks or under, it feels like a big score. Um, and I got this at Savers, which I don't know if they're all over the country, but the one by me has honestly got a little bit overpriced and it's like, it's a good thrift store, but it's a little bit too expensive. I like the more like low key ones that are just kind of like, 
you know, random little spots that still have really good prices. So, uh, but I do like it and I'm glad that I picked it up because I think it's cute. I also wanted to say these are just clothes that I got at the thrift store. I'm doing like a thrift fashion haul, but I do have a lot of home pieces that I found and they're on my Instagram highlights. I just have a highlight called thrift haul, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got a lot of glassware, a lot of wine glasses, um, some serving dishes, and just a ton of really cute things. I even found like a really nice whiskey set for my brother when the entire thing was like under $15, four glasses and a whole whiskey decanter. Major come up, but I'm not sharing all that in today's video. I'm just doing the clothes. So if you're interested in seeing any of those things, check out my Instagram. Okay, so anyways, a section that I love at the thrift store are the men's dress shirts. Um, they have become really trendy. I'm sure you guys see them all over Instagram. I'm wearing them constantly, just kind of the look right now. And the thrift store is a perfect place to look because there's just an endless amount and you can get a really cool oversized look in the men's or section. So I found this purple one and looking at it, you might be like, okay, that looks like a purple menswear shirt, but I have an inspiration photo for this and it's a picture of Hailey Bieber. She's wearing it open. Hers is super oversized. Um, she has on some heels, some little cut off shorts and a crop top. Um, I saw this and I was like, I've had this picture of Hailey Bieber in my phone for a few years and I have never recreated the look. I always was inspired by it and I wanted to do something with it. And then I found this and it's basically like the exact dupe for what she's wearing. It's oversized, it's long, it's almost the exact same shade of purple and just a nice color change for me. I never do purple, but I actually do like the way it looks on me. I think I might wear it this weekend. It's my birthday weekend. So I might wear it with, you know, a little pair of shorts and some heels like she's wearing it um, and just kind of try to recreate the look. But I think it's hot. I love it. So um, you guys will have to see on Instagram if I recreate the photo. I'm sure I'll share the reference pic on my story and then share my outfit if I do a good job of recreating it and I want to share it. Um, but yeah, pretty good come up. I mean, I think it was like, you know, probably five or six bucks and it's really long, oversized and just perfect. Um, so really excited about this. This was like a good, good find for me. Um, I didn't even really know that I was looking for it. It just kind of happened. And then I also got a classic white button down dress shirt in the men's section. Um, I think I was literally wearing a white button down when I was shopping this day and it was like, okay, this looks like a joke, but I'm getting another one. Um, it's just a great place to find these. I wear them constantly. They're great for the summer because it looks cute over a bathing suit to the beach. Um, or I actually, when I was shopping, I was wearing this bike short unitard, a little onesie. Um, and I probably will wear it in a lot of the try on cause it did like randomly look good with everything that I had today for the most part, just kind of a blank slate and it just, you could pair anything with it and it looks so trendy and cool. But I love the way it looks with something like this and you do some cute sneakers or some platform sandals and it's just hot. I love it. So to me, it's just like, I can never have too many of these. If I find like a good quality one um, for a good price, I'm going to snatch it up. Um, and I definitely had like Matilda Durf, Durf Avenue on my mind when I was thrifting because they sell shirts like these for, you know, like 120 bucks. And to find one that's just like a menswear shirt, it's not too stiff. It's like lightweight and um, feels like nice quality, but it's not like so like you know, pressed, you know? Um, so very happy about this one. Another great price. Something that I know I'll get a ton of wear of because I already wear stuff like that constantly. So was definitely happy about those. This I've actually already worn. I just wore it the other day. Um, this is a menswear shirt. It's on the sheer side, um, kind of sweatery material, um, short sleeve shirt, and it's really long. It kind of like is giving like, you know, sweater, but it's very lightweight. And I thought it would be nice for the summertime even, um, but it is gonna transition really nicely into the fall since it is that like beige color and it's more of a sweatery like material. But I've worn it in the heat and it's been really nice. It's even cute for a bathing suit cover up since it's a little bit sheer. If you wore like a black bikini underneath, it would kind of peek through and it's just perfect. I was hoping I was gonna get away with it as like a t-shirt dress, but it's just a little bit too short for me because I am on the taller side. Um, so I do need to have like a little bit of something peeking out at the bottom just so it looks like I'm wearing pants. And now I'm thinking too, like why I'm very into thrifting right now. Um, <laughs> nobody asked, but I just feel like I've been struggling with my style this year. Um, I just like don't know where I want to go with my style. I'm very into basics and simple elevated things, but I'm like, I don't know what 
my exact vibe is like I do but I don't at the same time and I feel like with thrifting it's really just like you find things that you like and you feel comfortable in and you gravitate towards and just shopping on normal websites now it's like I'm so tempted to like get what's trending and I see stuff on Instagram and I want to order it like I know that's like hot right now but seeing stuff at the thrift store it's like stuff that's been around for years you really do just find pieces that you think are cute and stuff that you like you know so I feel like I'm not so restricted on like having some set style does that make sense so that's just you know again a little bit about me um but a few more things from the men's section i told you guys i love the men's section okay um these like button up short sleeves are also so nice especially for the summer um i know the summer's coming to an end but i'll be in the heat for a while so it's still gonna be great to have um this i wear as a dress because it's extremely long looks cute open with a bikini or even with my bike short onesie that i was wearing these are a regular at the thrift store you could definitely always find stuff like this which i think is great um, and i have one more piece just like it but this one's more lightweight and it's green which i'm just obsessed with the color you can wear it with a little mini dress or you know some cut off shorts and a little tank um, you could wear it closed if you are on the shorter side you probably could find many of these that would fit like a dress this one for me was just like not long enough um, i need to have something peeking out so it looks like i have pants on just like that other piece uh, because i have longer legs i'm about five six five seven so um sometimes i can't get away with wearing just a shirt as a dress it looks like i have no pants on so next up i went to this antique shop with my niece um, we were mainly going for her she's moving into her college apartment and she wants to find a lot of like unique vintage pieces um so we went to this huge three-story um i mean it was technically four stories just the bottom story was like almost like giving like it was a little basement or something um but we went to this massive antique store it was in whittier if you guys are in southern california it was called king richard's antiques i'm sure if you guys are in there you've heard of it it's kind of like iconic i wasn't really in the market for anything you know furniture wise i was mainly going with her to help her out but i did find a t-shirt <laughs> It's like wherever I go, I will always manage to buy myself something. It's just my toxic trait. Um, but I saw this like really oversized Mickey Mouse t-shirt and I just thought that's cute. I can wear this to Disneyland if I ever go back to Disneyland. I haven't been in a while. Um, but just kind of a good thing to have. Comfortable, easy, looks cute with like a pair of Converse and some cut off shorts or with some bike shorts peeking out. Not me referencing bike shorts like every two minutes, but it's like my favorite thing to wear. It's so comfortable. Um, especially at Disneyland or something like that a pair of bike shorts like that's ideal uh, but I just thought it was cute it's like you know a little vintage Mickey next up a few weekends ago or last weekend I time doesn't make sense I don't know when it was um, I went to the farmers market with my niece and with Marcus and on our way back in the neighborhood we saw this random house that had this huge sale going on. I mean, it wasn't a house. It was like a house converted into a business, a little boutique. They had all of these tables, piles of clothes. Everyone was like looking through it so frantically. I was like, what is going on over there? Like we need to get over there. And me and my niece went and everything was a dollar on the tables. I didn't find a ton of things. I mean, I found a few um, pieces that I actually ended up giving to my brother's girlfriend because the thing about thrifting is like, you could find something cute, but if it's not your size, like good luck, you know? Um, so whenever I find things that are like on the smaller side or just things that are cute that make me think of um, someone that I love I usually just buy it for them because it's like if it, it was a dollar like how could I not so I got a few things for her and then I found a few things for myself um, I just got these like cargo pants they're H&M pants um, but I got them for a dollar and I just thought like even if they don't fit like let's just grab them and that was kind of my philosophy that day um, I just found two things that worked out for me but I'm like you know I'm just gonna buy this sweatshirt even if it looks small because it's a dollar and I'm gonna give it to someone if I don't like it so that was what I was thinking um, so these pants are super cute they are just you know classic like cargo -y pants and I think this looks cute with a t-shirt some sneakers or you know whatever um, just great to have and they'll be good for the fall so and just you can't beat a dollar I mean that is like what I'm talking about that's like what I want to find when I go thrifting or to any kind of sale like that like you just can't beat it um and next thing i actually really like and i feel like this feels really expensive it's just a sweater like bouncy cozy um kind of material it has a hood so it's like a pullover sweater um and i thought it was giving like coastal grandmother vibes i thought it looked cute with a like high neck white tee paired under it it's giving like you know at the beach but it's getting chilly kind of energy does that make sense 
that's like what I'm getting. It's so cozy. Like if you could feel it, it's like this, like it's like a blanket material. You guys know what I'm talking about? This like soft material that's extremely stretchy. Next up, I have this striped quarter sleeve little shirt. I love this cut. You can find it at a lot at thrift stores and vintage shops. It's just like, you know, obviously it was something that was around many years ago and people donate them from their youth. And I just like this shape. I think it's really cute. I thought the stripes looked really cute for the summertime. It looks nice with just some denim shorts or, you know, anything like that. I feel like I can never say no to stripes. There's something about them. I'm like so drawn to them. Whenever I see a nice striped print, I'm like, hi, how are you? I just, I don't know what it is. Do you guys feel that way too? It's just something endearing about it to me. But um, next up, I got this crew neck. It's just a really pretty baby blue color. Um, just a simple crew neck. It does have a few little stains on the front, but it's something I'm willing to look past because I do think this is a good piece. And again, like similar to the Mickey Mouse t-shirt, when I find things like this that are just good quality, pieces I know I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of because you can just throw it over, it's simple, it's plain, easy to wear, and um, I just, I snatch it up whenever I find it because it's just good to collect things like this because there are some of my most worn pieces in my closet. So I got these two things at a little vintage shop thrift store in San Diego. So I didn't get a ton of things from this one, but we weren't in there for very long. I just wanted to check it out and that's what I found. Um, so that's everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked this style of video. I obviously can't link these things below. So I hope you guys still, you know, had some fun seeing this and maybe it inspires you to get out and thrift. I do think it's really fun and it's just an opportunity to find some pieces you wouldn't normally find and just get some things that will be unique to you. Like there's also something nice about no one else having that piece you're wearing. I'm not a gatekeeper by any means. Like, I, I mean, hello, I'm linking all day long. I'm like, here's a link to my shirt. Here's a link to my pants. Like I have no problem sharing, but there is something nice about having something unique to you and something that people like won't have. It's just kind of fun to, you know, wear something different every once in a while. So I'm definitely happy to be back in a thrifting rhythm. If you guys want to see another one of these videos, I will definitely film it for you guys. Hopefully I come up on some more stuff in the fall and winter. I can maybe find some blazers, some pants, some flannels. Like that's what I'll be searching for. Um, you know, in the coming months to prepare for the fall season. Um, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. Hopefully I find stuff, fingers crossed. Make sure you guys check out Anna Luisa. Shout out to them for collaborating with me on today's video. I will have all of that linked below. My earrings that I love, my rings, and I even have an Anna Luisa jewelry collection video if you guys are interested in hearing more about them. I have a video dedicated to my entire collection, so I'll link that below as well. But um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.